Hey folks, Brian Cooley. You probably know me from CNET videos, but when I'm not doing one of these, I'm probably on the road doing one of these. A PowerPoint presentation. And over the years, I've seen my share of people nod off in a PowerPoint meeting. Internet connected televisions are really going to be the future. And I know this is gripping and compelling information uh, because so you see in the future, as you can tell from this slide, that certainly there's a lot to absorb, but I think it's, uh, it's worth spending the time on. So I'm here to share with you seven tips that I've learned the hard way that will almost guarantee you never see anybody nod off or while away their time while you're giving a presentation. First rule to follow, and the most important one, clean and simple. No slide should ever look like a junk shop. Do that and you're telling the room, I don't know what matters, I'm putting it all up there. Keep every slide clear around one thought. This is the most important tip. But the next one is, don't barf. Even a simple slide or a more complex one should never just splat everything on the screen in one big mess. We call that death. Instead, roll each element into your slide via simple animations. I usually use a simple fade. It keeps the audience with me. It builds a little tension and anticipation. Also, transition from slide to slide with a fade, for example. Your thoughts flow smoothly. Your slides should do the same thing. Don't read. This is closely related to don't barf. Don't just put a slide on the screen and start reading it verbatim to your audience. You may as well email the thing to them and stay home. If you keep the presentation spare and punchy, you'll have plenty of important points to add verbally, leaving the slide to handle the main bullets to act as reinforcement. Learn to drive. At the very least, learn about keystrokes like F5 and Shift F5. F5 puts your presentation in the full screen mode, the way it's meant to be used. And Shift F5 does the same thing, but from whatever slide you're on, not from the top. Also, try out presenter mode. This puts the full screen out to your audience on a projector or display, but on your computer, you retain a custom sneaky view that has navigational cues and your personal notes, which they can't see. Get a remote. Sitting there tethered to your keyboard, or worse, having someone else run your presentation as you say, next slide, is heinous. Get one of these little wireless remotes so you can work the room a little and stand and look where you want to. Also, that remote can be used almost invisibly, so slides and transitions happen on cue with your thoughts as if by magic. Get embedded. When you use video in a PowerPoint, learn to embed it as opposed to clunkily dropping out to some separate media player. Yes, PowerPoint only accepts a limited number of video file types for embedding, but it's worth converting to one of them and format that video so it goes full screen automatically when you play. That makes it more theater than presentation. Type matters. Stick with one or two typefaces and use attributes and things like bold and italic consistently and sparingly. Also, make sure repeating elements like titles are always in the same place with the same treatment. And of course, spelling and grammar matter. Your comments are on the screen. People are going to be staring at them. If you goof, they're going to see it. Now get out there, do a tight PowerPoint, keep it moving, and nobody falls asleep.